Welcome back everyone, KV here and let's go ahead and speak to Catbeard. In the previous episode we did two dungeons, um, one that was 30 minutes and one that was to free Mustang Sally and the Penguin. Oh, the Emperor Penguin. Anyways, let's go ahead and speak to Catbeard. Captain, you continue to amaze me. Sally, your majesty, this is a momentous meeting indeed. Ooh, level 32. Sweet. It's high time you got some proper training in the art of command. Come to my office on the double. Um, no. Majesty, not at the moment. I am overwhelmed to meet you at last. I see my plan. My plan. The plan worked perfectly. <laughs> Me, yow. I love it when a plan comes together. Nothing left to do but collect my fee. Well, there's a little to do. Captain, go return fair maid to her father, the governor. I'm sure there will be a reward. I certainly can't go. I'm far too infamous. I'm to go free? My, my spirit is hardened to endure years of peril and hardship among a gang of pirates. It's not to be. Oh, thank goodness. I'm saved. Once you're free of our... Shrieking Violet, take Sally and our prize to Gortez. I hope we meet again, Captain. You're a fine pirate indeed. The war, nothing but a brief spat, I'm sure. Marleybone will prevail. Her Majesty's Navy is more than a match for a bunch of toy soldiers. Okay, so now we need to go speak to Governor Stanley in the Governor's office and um, level 32 yeah we're not gonna speak to that guy until I well actually I think somebody gets promoted at 28 I think it's Bonnie or is it Ratbeard again um, well it doesn't matter we'll do that uh, later so I guess now let's go to the governor's office. I okay, governor, governor, hey, governor, hey, Ooh. no, no, I need to get a new ship eventually. Uh, uh do, 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 do. governor where was his office again I don't remember um actually oh, oh okay that's right I remember now it was over here Durr. governor governor we have something to tell you a ray of light in these dark days Rescuing my daughter from the Armada cannot have been easy. Captain, you have my eternal gratitude. Oh, gallant Captain, I shall never forget your boldness. I shall write a gripping account in my diary. Please, tell me you'll return someday. That's enough, dear. <clears throat> One final matter, Captain. I fear the Brass Monkey has escaped from Fort Elena. Oh, no. Be careful. He may want revenge. No. Captain, I've always prided myself on my mastery of hey, 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 hey. Again, with that. Okay, so now we need to go speak to Gorstez, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead. Okay, so we are here, and let's go ahead and speak to Gortez. Captain, I knew you would succeed. Your Majesty, we meet at last. I am honored by your presence. You are indeed, Capitana World. I owe you my freedom. Napoleon does not forget. If ever I can do you a favor, say the word and it is done. Captain, you came to me in search of Sally, and here she is. Now, I must return to Monquista. My new friend will win my war for me. My father sent you. <laughs> that is not possible. He is dead. Wait, that's my father's ring. I had given up hope. Take me back to Santo Pollo. Wow, pushy. Sheesh. Come on, Mustang and Sally. I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't want her to 
be one of my companions. Sheesh. Shh, pushy. Pushy, pushy. Oh, now we need to go ahead and go back to Cool Ran. So, let's go ahead and cut ahead. Alright, see you guys there. Okay. So <clears throat> okay, so we are back here. And that was random. But, yeah. So, we need to go ahead and go visit El Toro. And the arrow, once again, is pointing me in the wrong direction. Thanks a lot, Arrow, for doing that. Even though I kind of knew where I was going, I always just looked down at the arrow. The, the arrow. Psh. Welcome back to Santa Pollo, my friend. To what do I owe this unexpected? Carolina, is that you? How can this be? Rodrigo, <laughs> you have not changed at all. I have become a pirate, like our friend here. I tried so hard to find you. Why have you come back now? Listen to me, my love. All our prayers are answered. Our friend here has secured my father's blessing from beyond the grave. This is amazing. So you still wish to be married, my love? Of course. My dear friend. I do not know what to say. Give me a moment with my bride-to-be. Go tell Friar Clock that soon he shall marry us. Well, uh, of course. Of course I will have to go tell them. Watch her get kidnapped like Princess Peach. Oh no! Chick is getting kidnapped. Oh, Mario, go get her. And Mario's like, Really? Oh, I can never get a break. Anyways. Peace be with you, Capitan. Don Rodrigo is to be married? Oh, this is wonderful. All of Santa Pollo will rejoice at this news. I must say, I have been expecting you. There is someone who wants very much to talk to you, my friend. You will find him inside. Somebody wants to talk to us. Hey, 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 Speak with Raven the tribal Santa Poyo Church. Hey, look, it's a ghost. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, it is a ghost. You have brought me peace, pirate, and I thank you. Now I can help you in your search. I fought many battles against Captain Blood and finally defeated him, but I never found his lair. This map you seek, I have never seen it. In my final battle with the Dread Pirate, Blood's own crew betrayed him. They sailed with Blood for years. They must know where his lair lies. Sly Winkum was one of the mutineers. He has left his wicked days behind him and lives in Tumbleweed. Tell him El Toro sent you, and he will help. Ooh, so now we need to go to Tumbleweed. Some of you guys already knew that. <clears throat> I posted it, or it told me. Even though I kind of knew that too. Um. Okay, so now we need to find Sly Winkum, and I need to get the new ship. Um. The desert road. Could I get on my ship? Get on, dude. Random. Oh, okay.
Okay, so we finally arrived and there's some ship equipment. I'm not gonna talk to them at the moment. I'm not gonna talk to that guy either. And look at all the buffalo. The balloon. Hey, look. And more side questing. Perfect. Yep. 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 And okay, good. Um. Oh man. Um. Let's go ahead and enter. And. Fly Winkum. He's in the back room through there. Find the card room. Oh, is this gonna be a little dungeon? Nope. Guess not. Okay. Okay. Old man Bronco's got a message for you, Weasel. You dirt farmers better learn your place and do as you're told, or else. Listen, we don't want any trouble. I don't know how affairs have reached such a bad state. Bad? You ain't seen bad, but it's coming. Hey, now who's this? Oh, I see. You thought you could ambush the Waco kid? Time to pay the piper. Boys, show them what happens when you mess with the wild bunt. I was just leaving. Oh, so he just left and now we have to do this battle? Great. Great, great, great. Ooh. I actually kind of like my new attacks. Oh, great. He's a shock. He's a aimer. Um, man, there's a lot of random furniture everywhere. I kind of like this shark attack since it does keep it for five more turns than usual or before. That's so cool. Man, that guy's gonna be a problem. Oh man, there's another range person. Great. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna wanna have to. I'm gonna wanna take him out first. And he's attacking Bonnie. Nope, never mind. I thought he was gonna attack Bonnie. Ooh, nice thunder. Oh, thunder. He's actually attacking. Back. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me see. Ah, oh, baby Chelsea, second chance. Ooh, nice. Okay, now I get to attack. Mm, of course, I'm gonna want to attack the boss. Oh. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Dude, so I can get some of the stuff out the way. Uh, attack the boss. There we go. You better break some. Ah, it broke that little bag. Ooh, thunder is showing you what's up. Ooh, Bonnie's attack is gonna be helpful. So it doesn't dodge none of my attacks. Reduce dodge, reduce dodge. Yes. Oh. Wow. Hey, leave baby Chelsea alone. Baby Chelsea had quite has quite a lot of health. I don't know how much she has exactly, but yeah, she has a lot. Oh. Okay. Let me see. Now I'll do this. Oops. Okay. Random. I guess like, you can't go on that one. Obstacle. Okay. If you say so. I love this attack. I like the other ones too. Oh, thunder didn't it miss. Ooh, epic hit. Nice. Ah! Are you almost dead? Ah, he is dead. Double tap. Finally. That took forever. No, I didn't take that long. Thunder, Vengeance Strike. Oh. Vengeance Strike. 
Oh, it actually hit. I thought she was gonna. They were gonna block it. They usually do block Thunder's attacks, and Thunder's dying. Okay, you're next, you white stallion. Um, let's go ahead and do the Mojo Blade. Why not? Oh, I can't go all the way over there. Oh well. Mojo Blade should do like kind of half damage. I don't know. Oh man, that was kind of weak. You must have good defense. Or not so good defense. Whatever. Ugh, why'd you block my attack? Ah, leave baby Chelsea alone. Ooh. I like that attack when they miss. Oh, epic hit. Dang, baby Chelsea, who are you gonna attack? Oh, you went all the way over there? Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to kill him. Good thinking. Um, let me see. I'm on it. Oh, wait. Cheers. So, Bob Bonnie gets double tap. Oh, you're not going to die. Maybe Thunder. Nope. Oh, oh, Thunder actually killed him. Nice, Bonnie. Don't miss. Yes, double tap. Oh, blocked it. How do you block a shot? I mean, dodging will be acceptable, but dodge—I mean, blocking. He doesn't even have a shield. Okay, and do 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 do. Oh, I should probably die. Do. No. Ooh. Oh, so close. Oh, he should have hit Thunder or me. So I could do Adventure Strike. Baby Chelsea, for the kill. For the kill. Yeah, for the kill. Alright. Treasure chest. Ooh, 500. Man, that's a lot. Where's the weasel got to? Must have gone back out front. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He has a little psychic, though. El Toro sent you. <laughs> sure, <laughs> I'll talk to you. Just keep your voice down. El Toro sent you, you say? Yep. Ah, must be here to talk to me about Captain Blood. That was a mm. long time ago, stranger. I'm a businessman now. Of course I know where Blood's hideout was. But telling you it's in Haunted Skyway isn't going to help. <laughs> He's blocked. Thanks to the Wild Bunch, a viler band of outlaws and villains you will never find. The Bronco Clan leads them, and they aim to drive all us settlers out. There's no stopping them. No. I know who could stop them. The settlers can do it. Sure as you're born. Mm hmm. Timmy. You ain't ever heard of the Magnificent Seven? They're the greatest band of heroes and lawmen that ever rode a skyway. Back when I was little, this skyway was no fit place for bird or beast. We're no law at all out here. <laughs> and the rangers wouldn't even show their faces. But that all changed when the Magnificent Seven came to town. They tamed this skyway and made it safe for us settlers. Wyatt Chirp was their leader. The greatest lawman Cool Ranch ever saw. After Wyatt cleaned up Cooper's roost with his fists, he gathered a band of heroes to follow him, each one a legend. There was Wild Bill Peacock. He was the best shot with a rifle there ever was. Set name for Miss Jane. That's Calamity Jane Canary to you. Jane can bullseye a silver dollar at 50 yards easy. There's Duck Holiday, the dapper deputy. They say Duck looks death in the face and laughs. And don't forget Buffalo Bill, stronger than an ox, meaner than a mountain lion. Then there's Bat Masterson. He's quiet as a shadow and a better tracker than a bloodhound. They say Bat's from Darkmoor, but his heart's in the right place. 
Last but not least, Billy the Kid. He was an outlaw to Wyatt showed him the error of his ways. He's fast, crazy fast, and a little crazy too. My pa told me all the stories. How the seven beat Guaco Mole and the Red Mole Gang, shot Saguaro Slim, caught Sam Bass, and rounded up all the Waltons. Nobody could stop him. The seven tamed the Savage Skyways for years. But then they went their separate ways. I guess some of them didn't get along. But now, <laughs> Tumbleweed's been taken over by the Wild Bunch. They're bad, bad folks. But I bet the seven could whoop them without breaking a sweat. So you see, stranger, you should track down the seven. Duck Holiday still lives right here in Tumbleweed. You should go talk to him. Okay, that was the interesting pub show about the magnificent seven. Okay, so now let's go speak to Duck Holiday. Hey, look, there he is. Hello. You are a bold one. I'll give you mm -hmm. that. <coughs> the Magnificent Seven are a dream that has ended. Oh. Their day is done. After what happened to Wyatt, <coughs> I seriously doubt the six of us will ever stand in the same room again, much less go to battle. I do miss those days. Tell you mm. what, if you can get Jane Bat and the Three Bills to agree, I'll be a Huckleberry. Oh. Start with Buffalo Bill, who likes me not at all. <laughs> Sly knows where to find him. If you can convince Bill to ride with me, the rest will come easy. Okay, so we need to go speak to Sly once again. Alright, let's go. Okay, so Sly. What is up? The Magnificent Seven. Ah, don't tell me you actually bought that load of... Oh, well, it's a long shot. But the plan's so crazy, it just might work. After the seven parted ways, Buffalo Bill started up a wild frontier show. I hear the show's just come back to this skyway. <coughs> You'll find Bill there. I can tell you this. Buffalo Bill is a betting man. Wager something against his return to the seven. If you win, he'll come back, no matter how angry he is at Duck Holiday. Okay, so now we need to go find Buffalo Bill, but we're going to go ahead and do that in the next episode. So don't forget to like this video to show your support, and don't forget to subscribe. And why is that exclamation point so big? Wow. Uh, and this guy looks like Billy the Kid. Also, don't forget to <clears throat> like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Alright, catch you guys in the next one. I have been KV, and I am out. Peace!